Look in there, you two fans. This is the creepy doll man here. I'm back. This is not a episode. This is a special message. Okay, it is April the 12th, the 2018. Time is now 12.35 a.m. Okay, I'm back to give you current events that's going on this month for, uh, you know, Louisville, Kentucky. As you know, we got something big going on this month. It starts April the 21st of 2018, which kicks off the big event, which is coming up now. It's the world's biggest tourist attra yeah, tourist attraction from around the world, from other countries, from the U.S. all the way to foreign lands from around the world, meaning over to the Middle East. We got one of the biggest events that's going on this, this ordeal. And it's called Thunder Over Louisville. Now, if you hadn't seen Thunder Over Louisville, then you don't know what you're missing. Now, it's the world's biggest event. The air show, I think, starts 1 to 3 p.m. Or it starts at 3 p.m. And I think it ends at 5 p.m. I'm not for sure. But it's the kickoff before the big main attraction. Which is the big world's firework. Yeah, the big yeah the big world's firework display, which would be at nine or nine thirty, and it's there. This year's theme, it kind of sucks. It's a disco deal. Now you know the creepy doll man is not alone. This shot, as you can see, he's truly with one of his real creepy dolls, and he's gonna show it up close right now. Creepy doll man ain't the creepy doll man without. A real creepy doll and take a look at that mother okay now let's get back in what I'm saying now uh, then after that after the thunder of Louisville's over with then it's the Pegasus parade and then we have another event that starts in May which is uh, Ken the Kentucky Derby and everybody likes to bet on the horses and they usually do it for run of the run of the roses and run of the oaks and you know a lot of people bet a lot of money and they gamble a lot and it's lucky they don't lose their shirt as well which probably would happen eventually but uh, now i'm gonna bring him back in the shot one last time let you see him up close now i showed this one before at least this is about the third time i've shown this one uh he was with the numbers ordeal i think he's 187 and i showed another one which was 192 now, they don't have names yet. I know the name of this one already for one reason, one reason only. That we did off record a communication with this one. Meaning we did an early communication with this one, me and Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. And we, we got the name of this one. But I don't want to leak it out yet until we do communicate with our spirit friends, whatever the number will be. And then we'll give you the name of this one, if it's a he or a she. That will be a puzzle for all the fans that have to wait to see. Now let me take this one out of the shot. And carefully remove him out of the shot for reason. Or her out of the shot for reason. Uh, to get back to what I'm saying. And the creepy doll man has another little thing in his special message he wanted to bring up right now. There's a couple of things more he has to say before he has to leave. I mean, I gotta say my piece before I end this. With my special message. Next special message is the Creepy Doll Man has a new non-payable ad for Take the Real Reality Challenge with the Creepy Doll Man is still on. But the Creepy Doll Man has made some new changes. Uh, as you know, the Creepy Doll Man say, and he stated in the video, when he done the video, he will not release his real name and he will not release his real address. The change is that a lot of people may decide to boo the creepy doll man for making this change. But he'll explain why, again, why he done that. That the creepy doll man, meaning the real creepy doll man, which is me, decided not to reveal my real name for one reason, one reason only, plus the real address for one reason and one reason only. That anybody can come in here and can probably do some physical harm to my family, you know, or do something bad to the family. I don't want that to happen. Or they may come in here anytime they want and rob the creepy doll man of his personal merchandise or his belongings, which 
which is not cool. So the creepy doll man states this, that this ordeal is kept secret. So the secret location will be kept secret from now on. Another thing is that I decided to do this. That you will be blindfolded in broad daylight when I bring you here. But I have some new things to spice up the thing even more for all the fans. I decided to extend the year a lot longer than it should be. So instead of October the 31st of 2018 when this challenge is supposed to run out. The Creepy Doll Man is extended, meaning extended a lot longer. Meaning, October the 31st of 2018, all the way through October the 31st of 2022. So you now have a ticket to ride to get into this. And to make it more interesting, we're going to do a different thing for this challenge. We're doing a test trial only. First time done ever. Meaning you'll do it before the real reality challenge begins with the real challengers. This is just a test trial basics. Meaning no real challengers. This is to see if it will go well before the creepy doll man will do the challenge with the real people he's picking. And creepy doll man is going to pick eight different challengers. Four females, four males. There is a different thing that is a new catch to it though. No age is required for this test trial run only. So no age limit. And another thing is two people will come in here at a time instead of one. And you'll have to have sleeping bags on the floor. And another new twist, the creepy doll man states you won't have to worry about signing any contracts at this very time. And that is the truth. And the new challenge is the creepy doll man will turn the light out, lock the door behind, and you can't leave until morning. And that's for this challenge. But you will be blindfolded and bring here before, you know, we do the challenge. Now, when we do the challenge for real, this is what's going to happen on to take the real reality challenge with the creepy doll man. When we get the real eight challenges we need, meaning, uh... We're going to change the challenge from two because we had two. One male, one female. We're changing that. Six new challengers may enter in this. So it's going to be a total of eight now. Total of eight challengers. And I'm going to do four females and four males. But we're going to have them, probably the males coming before the females. And you'll have, I have to get eight contracts signed. All of them have to be signed this way, stating that you cannot sue the creepy doll man for if you're attacked, possessed, or killed by a real demonic spirit within his whole bedroom or this very house. And there's more to come to say about this. I may spice it up a little bit more, plus you gotta be 18 years of age or older to do this challenge. Only the real challenge. But, and it... It's still, two people will have to come in, and they both will come in and sleep together. It'll be two males or two females. No male or female will enter, meaning no hanky-panky within this bedroom. And another new twist was I'm supposed to turn the light out and lock the door. But there's another another twist, uh, meaning another little twist with this, which is going to be very confusing for the fans, that I'm posting a guard outside the door here what he or she is going to do is make sure that you cannot exit that door for any reason unless you have to go to the bathroom it better be before the door is locked because once the door is locked no one may leave till morning meaning at the crack of dawn when the sun's up another thing is that this person will make sure that you cannot leave I will tell them instructions they cannot leave and exit the door. Plus, no one else may enter this room. So that person will block the doorway to make sure no one comes in, no one goes out. Oh yeah, another thing is, you don't want to jump out the creepy doll man's bedroom window for one reason and one reason only. The neighbors have a lot of stuff up against the side of the house that don't belong to the creepy doll man. And if you fall that... I'm not in control if you sue them over that stuff. It's outside 
the creepy doll man's bedroom room window. So, meaning, if there's stuff up against the house and you decide to jump out the window and you you get hurt, the creepy doll man is not responsible for what's on that side of the window, meaning outside of the house against the window, meaning the neighbors or the ones that put it up there. You will have to sue them, not me. Now, another thing is, this challenge is on for real. This is a real challenge from the Creepy Doll Man. Creepy Doll Man came up with it first, and he will make sure it's his first to control. You will have to meet in the locations I tell you to go. Uh, you can find me in certain locations. I told you in the video, I instructed where you can meet me at, and I'm not going to say any more about it. But I'm going to have to have another video coming up pretty soon because the Creepy Doll Man is fired up what he heard or what he saw on, you, on uh, not YouTube, but what he saw on eBay just now. And he wasn't too happy with what he saw. And I don't know if it's for real or not, but I'll get into it when I do the next video. And it's coming up next. Excuse me. Keep your eyes peeled for that next video to come up because the Creepy Doll Man is going to be fired up in that video. And he's going to show a little bit, maybe a little bit of anger issue in that one. And that's a side that you don't want to see the Creepy Doll Man ever get into. So watch that video to come next. And I say this to all my fans out there. Goodbye and God bless you all.